I mean, what would RPG be if you didn't have mods? Hey guys, it's Chris with Tech5. Today I'm going to be showing you guys the top three mods for Cyberpunk 2077. Now, I do have a fourth one for you today. If you'd like to check that one out, it's a little bit more triple X rated. So that one will be at the end of the video. Feel free to check it out if you'd like. Now, I'm also going to be showing you guys how to actually install these mods, and I'm going to be giving a brief overview of them. If that sounds interesting to you, stick around. Let's get into it. So the first mod that we're going to actually get is going to be called Fling Trainer. So Fling Trainer, we're going to get from nexusmods.com. And we're going to go to our internet browser and we are going to type in nexusmods.com. Now to let you guys know, you do have to register for this website to actually download things from it. Now you don't have to pay, but they do have limitations if you don't use their premium services. Same within everybody, but that's just how the world is. But anyways, once you've registered, you will type in fling trainer. If I can type, oh, there it is. Fling trainer should look like this and we will actually begin to download this. And you are going to just download it because we've got premium for us, but you begin the download, you're gonna extract the files. So once you get that file extracted, you're gonna actually find your game file for Cyberpunk 2077, and you're just gonna drop it into that folder. And now that it's in there, you should actually be able to run it. And this is what the application will actually look like. And so we're gonna open up Cyberpunk and see what it looks like in game. So before you get to messing with too many different things with this modification, I would encourage you guys to definitely take the time to make a backup save. Make sure that you have some just in case saves, just in case something goes wrong, some gets corrupted with using these modifications because I mean, you're changing the game around and this game's already buggy as it is. So you never know what could happen. So definitely make a backup save. So this modification is basically a quote unquote god mode modification you can have infinite health ammo infinite money you can have a super jump you can mess with the movement speed and i'm going to give you guys a quick demonstration so you guys can see all of this stuff firsthand and i can just literally just continually hammer the trigger button and not reload it's kind of crazy and this is you know just a little let loose mod i would definitely encourage you to play the game normally without this because it is a good game despite the bugs that it has but you know have some fun with it so just want you guys to see what it can do so this next mod that we'll be installing will be called cyber engine tweaks and this is a console developer mod and maybe you're familiar with arc where you could spawn really anything into the game this basically allows you to do just that now this is fairly easy to install we'll go ahead and click manual here we'll tell it to download we'll extract these files once you've got those files extracted we're going to copy these files and then we're going to navigate to our cyberpunk 2077 folder and we are actually going to go into the bin x64 and we are going to copy them here so once you're in the game it's very easy to access the console you just simply push the tilde key which is next to the one and it'll bring up a little dialog box like this now you'll just need to type whatever command into this little chat box and it should give you the item so I'll have links in the description that will contain all of the known commands. Uh, like I said, you can just type them in to the little dialog box and basically give yourself any of the guns. You just type in the command for it. And this kind of explains it all and lets you know different commands that you can run to do different things. Pretty helpful. So you can have the God mode on and be indestructible and then have any gun in the game. So. There you go. 
So the next mod we're actually going to be doing is going to be better vehicle handling. And there's three different versions of this mod and they actually have a description for them to tell you which one does what. And they kind of gradually get more sticky as it goes. I'm going to go for kind of a middle grade. So we're going to try that one and showcase that. And it's fairly easy to download and add to your game. So what you'll do is extract that file just the same you would do before. So what we're going to do is actually copy the INN file from the better handling mod we just downloaded into the INN files of Cyberpunk. And you can find that in engine, config, platform, PC, and then we should be there. And we'll just drag it over. Then we should be good. And let's fire up a game. So with this mod enabled, it was really easy to tell that something definitely had changed because I am not a great driver on this game. I'm usually, I'm do pretty decent, but on this game, it just is so difficult to control cars. And, you know, I guess that's why the mod exists, but man, it makes a difference. I'm never able to control this car like this. So this last one's gonna actually be called the underwear remover. And I'm not gonna get too in depth with this one for obvious reasons, but this is the more adult one. So you'll just click manual, download. So once you've got all the files extracted, you're gonna wanna navigate to the exe file for cyberpunk. And you're going to take the patch file and drag it over your exe file for cyberpunk and let it go and let it launch. Once you've done that, have fun doing whatever you want to do. That's going to do it for the video. As always, if you do have any questions, concerns, confusions, don't hesitate to ask. I don't mind helping. I promise. I'm really trying to build something for you guys here. Hope you want to be a part of it. A simple like, share, subscribe, comment. It goes so far for the channel. It really helps me continue to make content and grow. With that said, I hope you can like, hope you can subscribe. And if not, well, I hope to catch you in another one. And remember, it's a vibe, a tech vibe, specifically. We'll see you.